we're back for Kira's 10 month update. Here she is. There she is. She's super, super hyper. <laughs> and hopefully the lighting's okay, guys. Um, I couldn't find a better time or a better um, spot to film this. Hold on. So, last time Kira was weighed, she weighed 24 pounds. And we didn't get her height. I will weigh her at home. So the last time I weighed her was like last week. And she weighed about 24. She weighed about 24.3 pounds on our home scale. And so she is growing she is very very heavy and i also wanted just to update you guys really quickly on her sleep <laughs> improved somewhat however um the reason i think why it improved was because the last month that i update updated you guys we tried to um sleep train we tried oh we tried to put her in her crib okay and that was a complete failure absolute complete failure um she would scream and cry every single time and i realized that cry it out wasn't for our family now i know i might get some some comments but s different things work for different families and if it works for you that is amazing um but it didn't work for us so we're still co-sleeping bed sharing we do have her crib put up against our bed so um it's not that you know she's still in her own little spot but when she wakes up she wants to film mom and she she has needs that want to be met and so i'm more than willing to meet her needs so we're doing that we're still um bed sharing co-sleeping and also we're still breastfeeding yes she we're still breastfeeding and she is taking in solids at a very amazing pace she loves food she loves everything we give her lentils we give her um, chicken we give her everything we eat she eats and so um, the only thing she hasn't really ate or tried is um, red meat because we don't have red Bye -bye. meat very often um, usually have um, like white meat and um, ground turkey things of that nature but not red meat um, also she is standing on her own and she tried to take her first two steps the other day however um, she gets really scared, so she'll go back down into her sitting position. Also, if you see right now, she has about eight teeth. She has her four bottom teeth and her four top teeth as well. And she is just a happy little chunk. All right, now let's talk about schedules. She is still on a schedule um, somewhat. She naps twice a day for being 10 months old. She usually naps at around 9 or 10 in the morning. And then she'll nap again at around 2 to 3 in the afternoon and then she'll stay awake and we usually start our bedtime routine at like 7 o'clock p.m. and she's in bed by 7 45 and then asleep by 8. <laughs> we tried putting her to bed earlier and we realized that she would wake up um, at around 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the morning she would be awake and ready to play. So I think she took that as a napping option but that was not what we wanted to do. <laughs> She's also saying words like data. She says mama. She tries to say Nathan. Can you say Nathan? Nathan. Nate. She's looking for him. Nate. Nathan. And we're also doing, um, we, uh, we do the alphabets, but more than anything, we are doing sound recognition. And I know some people are going to say that's a little bit early, but I don't ever think it's too early to ever expose your child to, um, to the alphabet and to numbers. And we're always singing, especially in the bathtub. <laughs> that's our singing time. And she just loves singing time. So we do that. We do a lot of that. And we're also we try to take walks. We take her for the we take her to the park a lot, and then it also gives me a chance to go out and explore as well. <laughs> Ooh, hi, hi, Junk, hi. She waves. She's a uh, she loves to wave. Hi, say hi. She loves to wave hello and goodbye. She clap clap. Can you clap clap? <gasps> Yay! Clap clap, baby. Yay! She claps. She's such a happy little baby. Um, what else did I want to mention, guys? Oh, okay. And her size clothes, she still wears 18 to 24 month clothes. Um, <laughs> look at, she's actually wearing some 2T pants right now. Um, they're, they fit her perfectly. 
Um, so 2T works really well for her. She's, she, she's gonna be a really long baby. I wanna talk about discipline. So a lot of people have asked me, so do you um, tell her no a lot? Do you raise your voice? Do you firmly say stuff? <laughs> I don't raise my voice, but I would say that we tell her in a firm voice whenever she's doing something that is not, that is dangerous. Like lately, she, she likes to stick her fingers in the outlets or tries to, and she tries to remove the little safety <laughs> safety plugs we have in and we'll firmly tell her no thank you and we will move her so our way of discipline i wouldn't really call it discipline but we use <laughs> what we do is we distract her we distract her a lot and if there's something she doesn't we don't want her to be doing we just simply remove her from the um situation and um, I think that's what we find is the best is distraction because at this point they don't understand if you spank them It will not teach them anything but to hit Hi. Oh my goodness, but yeah guys, so I've been enjoying my time with this baby. She loves it <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> If you guys want to see a day in the life just um, thumbs up this video and I think that's about it. Ow! <laughs> Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. We will see you guys for our 11 month update. Thank you so much for watching. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.